The NHS could soon have a new tool up its sleeve to help us lead healthier lives. Researchers at Imperial College London have been trialling a new app for patients with type 2 diabetes, which takes a sample of their DNA to help them choose the best foods to eat. If the trials go well, it's hoped the new app could help GPs treat conditions like obesity, heart disease and mental illness. Inside Out has been following one family, putting the new technology to the test. Meet the Crown Spencer family. I'm Andrew, I'm 48, I'm an ex-firefighter and I now run a security company. When I was in the fire service 21 years ago, I underwent quite a traumatic experience. We were trying to extract someone from a car and whilst I was lifting it, I tore my aorta. Andrew underwent life-saving surgery and was given an artificial heart valve. It's important to stay healthy. I'm Charlotte, I'm 19 and I'm at Bristol University studying equine behavioural science. When I was about five or six, I was diagnosed with a hole in the heart and then it got quite big and I had to have an operation to fix that. I always try and stick to foods that are healthier because I don't want any other strain on my heart. I'm Sam, I'm 44, almost 45 years of age. I'm a mum and a wife and I'm behind the scenes keeping everything running smoothly. I do try to keep active, but I've always struggled losing weight. Health is important to the Crown Spencer family and they've agreed to trial a new app that uses your own DNA results to select the best food choices. Charlotte and Andrew have some quite serious health issues. You want to make sure that you give them the best chance at preventing anything further from happening and this gives us that option. Today, Sam, Andrew and Charlotte have come to Imperial College to meet the man behind the app. DNA Nudge is a way of people being able to make very small changes to their nutritional choices, not changing their behaviour dramatically, but giving people more choices within their natural behaviour. So it's not saying eat a banana instead of a biscuit, you can still eat a biscuit, but this is the better biscuit for you based upon your DNA. The first step for the family is to take a DNA test. So once I've taken your swabs, I insert your swab into this thing called a DNA cartridge. Because all it does is extracts from that swab purified DNA. And then your DNA is spread over these wells. There are 96 wells on this little chip here. We're not looking at your full genome, we're just looking at particular propensities to various medical conditions which we feel that nutrition will have high impact on. And after 10-15 minutes, your entire DNA gets transported to that capsule. The work of all those people in your laboratories, and you can do it in that one little machine, is pretty amazing. So how can these DNA results help us make better food choices? Geneticist Dr. Maria Carvella is the scientist behind the app. You cannot change your genetics and your DNA, but you can adjust your environment and you can also improve your health by making the right choices. And this is what the app is aiming to do, help people make sustainable choices. There are small changes in diet, you switch from this chocolate to that chocolate, but in the long run they can have a significant impact. Once the capsule is loaded with the results, it's worn on a bracelet that syncs with an app on your phone. Now for the moment of truth, it's result time. A little bit nervous about getting the fats and sugar back because I've got really bad sweet tooth. A few members of my family do have type 2 diabetes and that's one thing that I, I want to stay away from. Heart disease um, and high blood pressure, that's been the sort of theme all the way through our family. Let's look at your results. You've got lots of greens. Oh, that's so that's good. pretty good. <laughs> These are almost perfect genes. <laughs> You've got no reds at all. You've oh, got that's... a couple of mediums, salt sensitivity. Yeah. It's not high, it's actually medium. So <laughs> basically, you should be as fit as a fiddle. Your genes are pretty good. Great, so. well, you've made my day. Next up, 
Charlotte. Wow, more green. Fantastic. You're identical to, to your yeah. dad. The only one that you're very high on is salt sensitivity. Just means you've got to be very careful of salty, salty products. Well, I'm happy that the sugar sensitivity is low because that was one that I was really worried about because I was always really, really worried about diabetes. With only one red, it's pretty amazing. Your turn. Your but will Sam be pleased with her results? Wow, OK. <laughs> Interesting. <Hey. laughs> so you seem to have a lot of reds, <laughs> a lot of reds, <gasps> all reds. Oh, the only green word. is caffeine metabolism. Well, when I got my results, I opened up the app and basically I saw red. I've got a high sensitivity to sugar, which means I've got a high chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Salt, fats, carbohydrates, obesity, but it's actually better to know. With the app loaded, the family is ready to shop. It's too much salt. Each barcode gives the product a green or red light, depending on your own DNA. Yeah, mine's fine with that. If it's red, you get an alternative that's better for you. So a better option. What we like about this app is it's ever so easy, it's red or green. It tells you at the point that you're making that decision, based on your own DNA, which of those choices is better or worse for you. But can you really predict that accurately which foods are good for you? We showed the app to consultant geneticist Dr Francis Elmsley. These apps at this stage are, I would say, uh, too early, too early to individually uh, predict risk for, for, for a particular individual. The science behind it has been based on populations and it's difficult to move from science that's been generated in populations down to a single individual. More research needs to be done, but trials using this app are already underway with the NHS using pre-type 2 diabetes and mental health patients. If you have a serious mental illness in this country, you are likely to die approximately 15 years earlier. Quite often the reasons for that premature mortality is because of cardiovascular problems, hypertension, diabetes. If patients at risk of these chronic diseases are shown to benefit from this app, then we could see GPs prescribing the technology. You could imagine a world where the GP says, why don't you wear one of these? Why don't we give you the kit to help inform your choices? So I think this could have fantastic potential for the NHS. That one's fine for you and Lotte, but not me. Another feature of the app is that families can link their DNA results. I love the fact that when I go shopping, I can make sure that I'm making the right choices for all three of us. So what choices have the family made based on the app? I can eat things like pizzas and pre-packed curries, whereas Sam's, she can't eat anything like that at all. Going on my results, I didn't think I'd be able to have pie or BLT, but actually, I can. The important thing is, it's the nudging that comes in again. So, for example, with the pie that she was allowed to have, saturated fat was slightly lower than the other pie that she couldn't have. It's actually just making these small changes, but you can eat the best of the junk. As long as you use it with a degree of scepticism, you consider your other risk factors. I would regard it as a bit of fun, to be honest. But what do our family think of the app? I love it. And obviously, I will still allow myself treats. I can have a little bit of that, but not too much makes you even more determined because you know that's actually your DNA, it's unique to you. At first I thought it would just be a gimmick, but no, you, every time you get a packet, you're tempted to just scan it with the app and see exactly what's in it. It'll be something that my generation will use, especially on the go. I think it's going to motivate me more to try and stick to stuff that's healthy.